Hello, students. It's Ms. Henderson with another fun uh, digital photography tutorial. Today, we are going to be talking about how to do a mirror effect in Photopia and Pixlr. Uh, so you will find this assignment on Canvas, and there is the sample image for you to download. Um, these are the old instructions for uh, Pixlr Express that I'm getting ready to delete here in a few minutes. Um, now, there are probably some apps you can download on your phone. I'm all for that. Uh, but not everybody has the same kind of equipment. So we're going to talk about um, how to do this on our Chromebooks. All right, so first of all, with the mirror image, I think it looks really good if the two ends of the picture are smashed together. Um, and so to do this, I kind of want to get rid of this, this wall a little bit. So I am going to crop this image. I am having a hard time figuring out how to do this in, um, what's that called? The other software, Pixlr. Now the old one that used Flash, oh my gosh, it was super easy to use, but this one, not so much. So, all right. So I've gotten rid of that and I'm gonna save this file. I'm gonna export this JPEG, okay. And I'm gonna keep it 100% because it's not a very big file. All right, it's downloaded to there. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up this one. That is the wrong file. So I'm gonna open it, open. Okay. All right, I'm finding the file in my downloads folder. Now I'm opening it. All right. Yay. All right. So well, what I want to do is I want to take this image, make the canvas size bigger, I make the canvas size bigger and flip it. So how are we going to do that? So I'm going to go through here to properties and we are going to have to do some math guys. Uh, canvas size. I want to anchor it. This is very important. Look at this anchor feature. Um, you want to anchor your image on the left. And so the flip version will be on the right. Let's do math now. We are only changing the width. Oh my gosh, I cropped my image now, so it's not, it's not a um, it's not a nice even number. Okay, and it's also in pixels. All right, let me see if my scrap math <laughs> on my post-it note is gonna work. Um, let me move my picture. Okay. I want to duplicate this image. Here, let me, I'll keep moving myself around the screen. Here we go. Duplicate layer. I want to duplicate the layer and then I'm going to flip it. So I was talking to some of my students. All right, now this is, I want you to pay attention. All right, so see the blue anchor points. Why did it do that? Don't do that. Um, you got to make sure your image has these blue anchor points around it. I'm not talking about the layer over here. I'm talking about these right here. And then I'm going to hit flip horizontal. Okay. And then you're going to look over here in the preview and see, did it flip both of them, or did it just flip the one um, that you selected? Sometimes it's tricky, and I really want this to zoom out. Um, okay, here we go. All right, here we go. Navigate, zoom out. All right, so obviously I need to line these images up. I have this big, huge gap. Okay, so I'm gonna use my arrow keys here on my keyboard. They're being really slow. <laughs> Dear computer, you can work now. Okay, all right. All right, so now I have a mirror image. Funky. All right, it's time to do some effects. So I need to merge this down. 
So I'm going to right click. I want to make the two separate layers one. So I am going to merge down. All right. So we need to do an effect and add a border. Okay. So um, in the past, I've used the Hagrid filter. Oh, effect. Pre-made effects. So we're going to go under the friends menu and we're going to scroll down to Hagrid. Uh, so my students ask me a lot if they can use another filter. You can, but I, I still want the picture to be colorful. I don't want it to be like all blue or all pink. Uh, make it colorful. Now uh, we don't have a border. Add element. All right, so you're going to pick border. And I want you to play around, play around with this. Use the... <laughs> Use the uh, brushed filter or um, ink, liquid, old. My light's just turned off. All right, what you don't want to do is use these funky birthday filters or the flower. Don't, don't, don't do this. Don't do this. Don't, don't be fl flower. No, if you were doing a birthday card, that would be perfect. But we're not. So please don't do that. Can I throw that layer in the trash can? Control Z. Hit Control Z. Uh, so you want to pick something like this. Ooh, that might be covering up too much of the image. I like that better. No, I don't. I don't like that. Now, and you'll notice there's the slidey bar down here, uh, the transparency. So you can change the transparency of your border. Um, and one of the reasons I like doing the mirror effect is I want you to understand um, we kind of get stuck in Photopia, or photo, uh, Photopia, however you say it. Um, but Pixlr also has, there's Pixlr E and Pixlr X. And the Pixlr X is kind of like the Express, and it does some really cool, funky filters and effects and borders. So what you want to do is you want to take your ordinary picture and make it extraordinary. Um, so that's how we're going to do this. We are going to save this and download this as a JPEG. If I can find the save button, oh, here it is in the save. Okay, I'm gonna save this as a JPEG. If I, if I wanna go back and edit this as a layered file, I wanna save this as a PXD file. Remember, Photopia saves as PSD, that stands for Photoshop document. PXD is the uh, Pixlr document. It's their specific file format that I don't think a lot of other software will open. Um, so, uh, unlike Photopia, I can go through here and rename this. Okay, so I'm going to go through here and rename it before I download it. You always want to download as quality high and 100%. So I'm going to go hit download, and it's going to save to my downloads folder. And I'm going to take this and turn it in onto Canvas. And remember, for our assignment, what we're going to need to do is find a picture and do the exact same thing using a picture that we took, not that we found on the internet. It's photography class. You take the picture. You got this. Y'all are smart. See you later.